News 5 Special Edition. Good evening and thanks for joining us for this special edition of News 5 at 9 o'clock. I'm Andy Cohen. Colorado Springs is recognizing our local veterans a few days early. The 22nd annual Veterans Day Parade marched through downtown Colorado Springs this morning. And News 5's Devin Karp was there to talk with the crowd and the veterans. As the loud brass sounds of bands marching through the streets could be heard throughout Colorado Springs, the Veterans Day Parade came a week early. Thousands of people came out to show their appreciation and thank those who made sacrifices for our country. Patriotism, to see that it's not dead, that it's still alive and well. Since 2000, Colorado Springs has held its Veteran Day Parade running through to Hone Street. These two veterans, Wayne Wolf and Richard Clark, spent 22 and 24 years in the Navy, respectively. Clark said that Veterans Day makes him think about a lot of different things. Memories of friends. Yes. And watching the parade brings hope in a new generation. Oh, it's Great. a wonderful turnout. Like all the, the uh, young people, the high school bands and ROTC units, it's, it's good to see young people still interested in the military. For Liberty High School band students, they've been itching to get back in the Veterans Day Parade. Yeah, since COVID, we haven't had the opportunity to participate in the parade, um, so we're excited to be back. But we did practice a lot. We were going up and down the street right in front of our school nonstop. And the drum majors say they feel the pressure. It's a lot of responsibility. You have to make sure that you're laying down the tempo well just since the band is following you. But it all melts away to perform for those veterans. The people cheering. The yeah, people cheering is a lot of fun. The crowd like is the best member. part for sure. From all of us here at KYA, we wish you a happy early Veterans Day and thank all of our veterans for their service. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Devin Karp, News 5. Thanks, Devin. Well, one of the floats in the parade celebrated our local Honor Flight Network. Our morning news anchor Bree Groves and photojournalist Ryan Mudge join local veterans on the trip of a lifetime to Washington, D.C. to see the World War II and Vietnam War memorials. Our heroes from Southern Colorado had their trip paid all expenses to the nation's capital and next Sunday, November the 13th, we will be airing a special report from this year's honor flight in recognition of Veterans Day. You can catch that right here on News 5 after Sunday night football next Sunday.